Hello everyone and welcome to Nancy Drew Danger on Deception Island. As usual, I've never played this game before and I don't know anything about it except that apparently there's an orca in it according to that image I just saw. So let's get right into it. Welcome to my latest case, Danger on Deception Island. To learn how to play, choose Gameplay Overview. When you're ready to start the game, choose either Junior or Senior Detective. Uh, Junior, please. No, I, I like having lots of help and hints, thank you. Dear Ned, here I am on a ferry bound for Deception Island, one of the San Juan Islands off the coast of Washington State. George's friend, Katie Firestone, is expecting me. Katie's a marine biologist who's doing research into deep water parasitic growth. She also owns a whale watching boat and takes tours out practically every day. I should be excited, but for some reason I feel on edge, like something's out of whack. Maybe it's because George and Beth arranged this little vacation for me, and sometimes their plans don't work out so well. Or maybe it's because we're about to dock at a place called Snake Horse Harbor. Kind of a creepy name for a town, don't you think? Or maybe it's because I haven't been on vacation for so long that I've forgotten how to relax. Anyway, we're here. It's not raining, but it's not sunny either. It's just kind of gray. Maybe that's why I feel so strange. Every year's Nancy. Maybe you feel weird because it's called Deception Island. That's a bit suspicious. Katie? Hi, you must be Nancy. I'm Katie Firestone. Come on, I'll take you down to the boat. Great timing, huh? I just got back from getting some groceries. George could not have picked a better time to arrange for you to come out here. Just last week, this orca showed up in the channel, and now it... Oh my gosh, what happened? Someone tore the place apart. The engine's a mess, parts are missing, others are damaged. Why would somebody do this? Okay, we're getting right to it. Also, Katie Firestone, that's an awesome name. I'm jealous. <laughs> are you gonna be able to fix it? I better be able to. I can't afford to pay someone else to do it. And if I end up having to replace a lot of parts, I don't know what I'm gonna do. We better call the sheriff. Actually, I'd rather not get the sheriff involved. The insurance company would raise my rates and I just can't afford that. Besides, I've got my very own private detective now. You. But this is a crime. It needs to be reported. Look, you're on vacation. Just go relax. Or bike into town, or, or take my kayak out. It's at the end of the dock. Just always wear your life jacket, and don't go past the channel markers. And if the fog starts coming in, head to shore fast. The fog we get around here is as thick as cotton. And never go out without a GPS. That's a global positioning system. Mine's somewhere around here. Anyway, your bunk's the empty one below. Why don't you go unpack? Wow, that was a lot of rules really fast. Need any help? Nope, I'm all unpacked. Also, hey, you're on vacation. You, you should relax, but also I want you to investigate this for me. <laughs> I think Nancy's used to it at this point, though. Wonder what's in here. Um, it looks empty at the moment. Oh, I guess that's a block of ice, isn't it? We'll figure out what's in there eventually. Nancy's typical suitcase. Oh, hey! They reconstructed the pottery. Good job. How are you guys? All right, cool. Let's look around. Ooh, food. Wait, can I grab any of this? Can I actually make a sandwich? Hold on. Let's put some jellyfish on the sandwich. Wait, I, I, I can do that? Um. Oh, we're gonna make the most vile sandwich in existence. Yes, anchovies. Nancy, you're going to eat this, and this mayonnaise that expired several years ago. 
Oh, I think I, if I get game, game over from this, I'm going to be so happy. If I just give Nancy food poisoning. Now we're putting everything on there. Freedom mustard. Heck yeah. I think those tomatoes are the only thing good in there. The tomatoes and the lettuce. It's a moldy bread. Oh yeah. Actually, I don't know what that is. Okay, let's go ahead and die. Ooh, suddenly I don't feel so good. <laughs> you gave yourself food poisoning? All I know is I made myself a sandwich and ugh, it didn't agree with me. <laughs> the ideal sandwich is a visually pleasing combination of high quality carbohydrates and protein. Just keep it simple and you can't go wrong. Chef Sherwood says... Sorry guys, gotta go. I am so happy right now. That was the best possible thing that could happen. who messed up the faucet left all the pipes here I hope okay right click pieces to rotate standard pipe puzzle that doesn't go there what am I trying to connect I don't actually know what I'm doing that doesn't go there am I connecting from here to here doesn't go there. Yeah, I have no clue what I'm doing here. I'm just doing what I do at the start of every game. Wander around aimlessly until I figure out what I'm doing. Oh, I could have put more junk on there. Chocolate sauce and baking soda and peanut butter. Oh man, I could have made- oh, there's jelly too. I could have made the sandwich so much worse and ketchup. I don't even know what this is. It's a science experiment it is what it is. A sandwich if I don't put something in it. It won't be much of a sandwich if I don't put something in it. Fine, you can have one thing of jelly. Hmm. There, I didn't kill you this time, Nancy. Okay, that's where our orca friend hangs out. No smoking, that's generally a good idea. Town meeting to discuss Orca. Okay, I get the feeling the Orca is going to be important to the plot. Mickey Maloon speakeasy. <laughs> ah, that's fun. Okay, there's somebody named Benjamin Hawkins. Okay, it looks like the town meeting already happened, and we- this is today, apparently. I think so. Ah, my trusty laptop. Good thing I recharged my batteries. Man, look at those giant icons. Ah, my brand new anagram buster. I come across letters that need unscrambling, I'll be all set. Nice. Oh, call Bess and George, okay. Make sure nothing else has been sabotaged. Okay, again. We are not able to send mail. That's okay. Oh, Nancy's dad's taking the day off. Oh, he works at a courthouse. Is he... Is he a lawyer? I don't actually know what Mr. Drew does. We haven't... We haven't heard much about him through these games so far. Uh, 
Oh, this is definitely like a late 90s, early 2000s website. Sea caves? They might be fun to explore. Yes, they are. And actually, I want to... I thought about doing this Dear in... Ned, here I am on a ferry bound for Deception Island. Dear Ned, here I am. Okay. I thought about doing that in previous games, but I just remembered to do it now. Turn the music down just a bit so I can hear the voices better. I can still hear the music, though. Okay, there's been burglaries at Snake Horse Harbor. No broken windows, no jimmied locks, no splintered doors, no signs of forced entry, basically. Okay, boats that get too close to the orca are being fined, but apparently the orca approaches boats on its own. So that means the fishermen are pretty upset. If it's healthy, they'll try and reunite it with its pod. If not, then they'll try and get it better at a special facility. And there's some political stuff going on. Oh, is this where Vote for Holt get, got their name? <laughs> I'm guessing this man, this person's going to be a pretty major character then. Maybe? I don't know. Oh, whale watching tour. Okay, is this Andy Jason? They have a uh, character model, so I'm guessing we'll get to meet them later. Alright, well, I don't think I can do much more on this website. How's my notes? Okay, I'm gonna go, go ahead and call Bess and George while I'm here. No, not the Hardy Boys, not yet. Nope, they don't want to talk to me right now. Okay. The note said to call as soon as I got here, but I guess not. You know, Nancy, for what it's worth, I shot my mouth off pretty good at the town meeting last night. You think that could be why somebody did this to your boat? I did get pretty obnoxious. See, the thing is, this orca, this killer whale, showed up in the channel about a week ago and has been hanging around here ever since all by itself. She was getting way too close to boats, so I called the National Marines Fisheries Service. They made some recordings and did some tests and are analyzing them. In the meantime, they ordered all boats to stay at least 300 feet away from her or risk paying a thousand dollar fine. That's what the meeting last night was about. I take it not everyone agrees? The people that fish for a living sure don't. They're steering clear of the whale by taking the long way around the island to get out to sea, which costs them time and fuel. Some people say she should be captured and towed out to sea. And what do you say? I agree with the no-boat zone. I also think that if she's found to be sick, she should be shipped to a research facility for treatment, not returned to her pod. I said as much last night, only much more strongly. See you in a bit. Enjoy. What's up? See you in a bit. Have fun. All right. Ooh, let's look at everything. This note wasn't here before, was it? No, whoever messed up my boat must have written it. Okay, so it's the standard thing of somebody mis getting mysterious threats. Uh-oh. Katie's GPS doesn't look so hot. Yeah, I'd say that's busted. I'd better tell Katie her GPS is broken. Heh <laughs> <laughs> 
What's up? I'm afraid whoever tore up your boat also wrecked your GPS device. Oh, no. It'd be a shame for you not to go kayaking. I know. Bike to the Hot Kettle Cafe and see if Holt Scotto will let you borrow a GPS from him. See you in a bit. I'll be right here. I am excited to meet this person. But first, I, I didn't look over here. Ooh, I don't like that sound. Stop with your drilling. Okay if I use your microscope? Sure, go ahead. Let's do some amateur science. Oh, it's waterproof. That's good. Yep, that's a flea. Too cool. I am well acquainted with fleas. My cat had them for years. Too cool. Awesome. Awesome. Feathers are so cool. Wow. What's this little smudge down here? Hmm. Okay, we're going to need to use that at some point. Apparently our saboteur took all the books out of the drawer up here. Must have been looking for something. Want me to put them away? If you could put them back in the drawer for me, that would be awesome. Where's the drawer? Oh, that drawer. Okay. I didn't real I didn't realize that was a drawer. The best way to get all these in here with no space left over. Oh, one of these kinds of puzzles. Let's just start by cramming everything into random spaces. Never mind, apparently there's specific places. Maybe? I don't know. It wouldn't let me put them down just anywhere. I don't think. Oh no, it was because they were overlapping the edge a bit. Well, in that case... One moment, friends. No, that's not gonna work. I wish they just clicked into place. Like if there's a bit of a grid system going on. That'd be a lot- that'd be very helpful. Nancy, are you just incapable of rotating things? Because if we could rotate these books just 90 degrees, everything would be solved. I, I don't want to deal with this right now. <laughs> oh, that's a failure, but whatever. Okay, let's head into town, I guess. Let's jump off the lake. Actually, no, I'm not, I'm not going to die twice in the first episode. As fun as that would be. Uh, the Hot Kettle Cafe. That's where we're supposed to go. To meet the famous Holt. Finally. I like the vibe here. A 
book on sea monsters. Very cool. Yep, these are all real stories about sea monsters. I recognize many of them. Interesting. Hello, potential puzzle or potential clue to a puzzle. Hmm. Interesting. Wait, does this one open? No. Or does it? Behind this one. No, it does not. Okay. Well, that's something for a later time. Oh, hello, people. There's actually people here. Amazing. Um. Hang on. I'll be right with you. Actually, I'm looking for someone named Holt Scotto. So what do you want? <laughs> I'm Holt Scotto. Nice to meet you. I like your hat. And your sweater. You've got a very fisherman vibe going on. I'm Nancy Drew. I'm visiting Katie Firestone. Well, now, why would you want to do a thing like that? Call myself Nancy Drew? Or visit Katie Firestone? Well, you're not one of them save the whale and uh, heck with everybody else crusader types like she is, are you? I... I'm just here on vacation. Her true colors came out real clear last night. Us fishermen don't count. All that matters is rescuing that poor, precious orca out there. To heck with people trying to make a living. Of course, is the way she makes her living being hurt by that whale? Why, no. Her business is booming. Now, ain't that the oddest thing? Well, that explains the fisherman vibe, at least. <laughs> She's back at the boat right now trying to fix her engine. Somebody vandalized it. She ticked off a lot of people last night. That's what she gets for being so meddlesome. Anyway, welcome to Snake Horse Harbor, home of Cadborosaurus. That's how this place got its name, you know. Cool. Really? Well, that's the sea monster Native Americans used to see out in the channel ever so often. Called it the Snake Horse. Had the head of a horse and the body of a giant snake. People on Vancouver Island started calling it Cadborosaurus after it or one of its relatives was seen a couple of times at Cadbora Bay. They call it Caddy for short. Is it a friendly sea monster? Back in the late 1800s, he took the rap for a lot of hoodoo around here. Fog would roll in at night, and men would just vanish. It was a snake horse, people would say. <laughs> Little did they know. That's the first time I've ever heard anyone say the word hoodoo outside of the show Supernatural. <laughs> uh, though I guess this came first as far as release date goes. Interesting. I know it's a real word, I just don't hear it very often. Why do you think they vanished? Well, they'd been Shanghai. See, a bunch of establishments in town had secret panels built right into the walls. Guy'd be having a drink one minute, and next minute he'd be clobbered over the head, whisked into a secret passageway, and taken out to a ship waiting in the harbor. He'd wake up on the high seas and discover that if he wanted to survive, he'd better do what the captain ordered. No matter what he was before, he was now a sailor. It was a cheap way for captains to get crews back then, and an easy way for some of the town's citizens to make money. Interesting. Did you say you were a fisherman? Fourth generation. I've fished every ocean for just about every fish you can make money fishing for. Lived here for the last 11 years. How often do you go fishing? Every day. Only reason I'm not out there right now is because I've been in and out of campaign meetings since 8 this morning. You're running for office? I think it's high time people around here started doing what makes sense, instead of doing what's politically correct all the time. Harbor Master we got now bends over backwards so far for the environmentalists, 
It's a wonder he can still walk upright. Whoever trashed Katie's boat also ruined her GPS. Oh, now that's a shame. Thing is, I'd like to go kayaking while I'm here. Only I can't without a GPS. Oh, now that really is a shame. Tell you what, I got a spare right here in my duffel. You know what else I got in my duffel? I have no idea. This is a little seamanship quiz I whipped up. I'm thinking about making people pass it before they're allowed to rent any kind of watercraft once I become harbor master. Here. I'm probably going to fail this. I know nothing about boats. The idea is to cut down on having to rescue people who got no business being out on the water in the first place. Trouble is, nobody's actually taken it yet. I need a guinea pig. And that would be me? If you pass the quiz, the GPS is yours. You'll need that container for the last question. See you around. Watch out for Caddy. I'll try. The sun always sets in the west. That looks right. I don't know the answer to that. Um, is it port? Good. Okay. Moon rises in the east. How? Oh. I know how to spell. Yes. Hold on. Okay. Um, is it the Big Dipper? Not. No. I know the North Star, I think its name is Polaris. Not. Hmm. Well, I don't know Morse code. I don't know this because I have to find this somewhere. Uh, sales? No. Engines? No. Oars? Paddles? No. Yeah, I, I, I don't know anything about this. <laughs> I'm not a boaty person. What can I get for you, Nancy? Since we haven't met, there's only one way you could know my name. On the day my Aunt Iris turned this place over to me, she said, Jenna, you're about to become a real good listener. And darned if she wasn't right. Nice to meet you, Jenna. So you own this cafe? Aunt Iris left it to me three years ago. It's been in the Devlin family since the day it was built, which was back in, like, 1866 or something. So, you're visiting Katie Firestone. My condolences. What do you mean? Me and her don't see eye to eye on a couple of things. I get the feeling a lot of people don't see eye to eye with her. I like your tea kettles, by the way, up there on the shelf. What kind of things? That orca out there should be rejoined with her pod as soon as possible. Period. End of story. No matter what Miss Fancy Schmancy science degree says, other people may be bamboozled by all her talk of data charts and field tests and monitoring whatnots, but not me. The only thing she wants is to get that whale into an aquarium. It wouldn't surprise me if Katie's been secretly feeding it. Which is against the law, by the way. And you know what else? It wouldn't surprise me if she trashed her own boat, because she knew that after that meeting last night, everybody would assume that Holt did it and not want to vote for him. I got an idea. Let's change the subject. Well, we're getting lots of different viewpoints on the whole whale situation, and I appreciate that. What do you know about the shanghaiing that used to go on around here? It never went on, that's what I know. Shoving grown men into passageways and carting them off to ships never to be seen again? It's just a big, colorful, tall tale. Never happened. It's been fun talking to you. Back at ya. All right. Well, it was nice to meet you. Too bad I wasn't invited. Sounds like they're having fun. That's where all the voices are coming from. Oh, postcards. Okay, I see. Thank you. That will be helpful information. Each flag stands for a letter of the alphabet, and so do those words. Interesting. <laughs> well, there's no way I can remember that, so I'll have to come back here later when we need it. Okay, do Bess and George, do, will they let me call now? Oh, there's more stuff to look at. Hold on. Yep, that is a fish. Oh, somebody named Kim has been po sending postcards to Jenna.
I guess that's Caddy. More of these. What is this card thing? Good question. And I said it and the others like it have been on the walls in here since the place was built. Interesting. Well, we have no clue what that's for yet. And there's more all over the place. Guess not all of them open. I guess not, Nancy. It seems like a fairly significant number of them do. Okay. Let's get our phone out. See if we can call the girls. Hello? Hey, Bess, it's me. Hey, how's it going? Grab the phone, it's Nancy. While George picks up, I'm gonna turn down the heat under my roux. Under your what? Hey, Nance. So, how's your vacation going? Fine, except for the fact that just before I arrived, someone vandalized Katie's boat. What? Don't worry, we're both fine. The engine of the boat was damaged, but Katie's working on it. Why would somebody do something like that? Uh-oh. I bet it's got something to do with that orphan killer whale. You know about that? Katie told us about the whale when we called to tell her you were on your way. Someone vandalized Katie's boat because of a whale? Because of Katie's opinion as to what to do with the whale, which she expressed very loudly in front of a lot of people last night. Katie does have a mouth on her, especially when the subject is marine life. Did they find any fingerprints? Katie wouldn't let me call the sheriff. Why not? That is a bit suspicious, and it does lend credit to... I forget which one of them said it, but somebody said that maybe she sabotaged it herself. She said she was afraid her insurance company would raise her rates. Well, she doesn't have much money, I can tell you that. Uh-oh, Bess, is that supposed to be smoking like that? Oh no! Darn it! Darn what? My roux! It's ruined! Oh no! She wrecked her roux! It's not funny, George! Yes, it is, Bess. What's a roux? A carefully heated mixture of flour and butter. I was going to use it to thicken my gumbo. Did you say gumbo? Rock shrimp gumbo. It was Chef Sherwood's main dish last night. She's hooked on this cooking show called Feasting for Fitness. Let me guess, it's hosted by a guy, and he's very cute. That happens to be true, but I watch it because I like his philosophy. Eat in moderation and eat only that which is made out of fresh ingredients and cooked with great skill, care, and judgment. What else have you cooked? Yesterday she cooked, or should I say ruined, crepes. They weren't ruined. I mean, you could still eat parts of them. Anyway, I want to hear what you're doing, Nance. Yeah, you should probably start out with something simpler. Pancakes aren't too bad. I can't help but think it's a little weird that Katie didn't call the sheriff after her boat was vandalized. You think she's trying to hide something? I know she's your friend, George, but I just got the feeling she wasn't telling me everything. Well, it's not like she's my best friend or anything. But what would she be hiding? This one woman, Jenna Devlin, she suggested that Katie trashed her own boat in order to discredit Holt Scotto and keep him from becoming harbor master. So are you going to confront her? I don't really have anything to confront her with. Good, because as I recall, Katie doesn't do confrontation very well. My gosh, George. Is there anything else Nancy should know about this so-called friend of yours? Katie's fine. She just has a few edgy little quirks, that's all. Great. That's probably what they said about Lizzie Borden. <laughs> Holt Scotto and whoever vandalized Katie's boat seem to be fond of the word metal. It's not exactly a word you hear every day. It's not exactly hard proof either. What else did this Scotto guy have to say? He's very knowledgeable, but he's also very anti-whale. And therefore, very anti-Katie. Do you think he has a point? I can see why he's upset. I mean, that whale is making it difficult for fishermen like him to make a living, yet nobody seems to care. Must be very frustrating. The bottom line is, he had a motive for vandalizing Katie's boat. Don't turn your back on him, Nan. Jenna Devlin went ballistic when I brought up the subject of Katie and the whale. What's her problem? She's convinced that Katie just wants to study the whale, not really help it. Sounds like a candidate for your suspect list to me. How are you guys fixed for hints? We're good, just say the word. I could sure use some hints when it comes to that seamanship quiz. Check out the URLs in the search engine on the Deception Island portal page on your laptop. I bet you'll find everything you need there. Except for a live male crab, of course. Head to the beach by the lighthouse for that one. And for question number two, go see the world. Whale world, that is. 
I better get going. See ya. Hasta la pasta. Does George have a new voice actor? She sounds different. That's okay. Uh, let me check the time real quick. Okay, we have a couple more minutes, I think. Now let's go down to the beach by the lighthouse, actually. See what's there. Is there... Oh, I didn't bring my helmet. Darn it! Well, there's my second death in the first episode. I was trying to avoid it, but it happened. I just want to go catch a crab. Yuck! I'm not picking them up. Oh, come on, they're just dead fish. These would be great for rock skipping. I already have some rocks. Just got pockets full of rocks now. I already have some rocks. So, is there anyone up here? Or is the place abandoned? No trespassing. Warning, keep out. What do you think you're doing? Those signs over there say no trespassing, which means keep out. Which means you, girly. Girly? Leave. But I just... Now. Alright, fair enough. That is a little suspicious that you're guarding this, what seems to be an abandoned lighthouse. I, I didn't see any crabs here, and I'm sad. So I'm going to head back to Katie's boat, and I'm going to stop for now. Okay, so... There's George's friend Katie, who is a marine biologist. Uh, she wants to study this whale here. And her boat got sabotaged, and pretty much everyone's a suspect right now, as usual. She does not have a lot of friends. She's very outspoken with her beliefs, which gets her a lot of negative reactions, it seems. And I, I can I can understand all three different viewpoints we've seen so far to an extent. Like, um Katie supposedly wants to help the whale if it's possibly sick. Jenna just wants to get the whale back out to its family. And Holt just wants the fishermen to be able to do their jobs without getting fined. So that- I can- yeah, it all makes sense to me so far. Nobody is immediately screaming villain at the moment. A lot of people are suspicious, but that's- that's to be expected. Anyway, next time I guess I'm going to try and finish up this quiz right here so that I can get the GPS from Holt. And I guess we'll go kayaking? Yeah, so. Thanks for watching, hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!